Today is the 24th day of the blessed month of Baramhat. May God end it in goodness and renew it for us in peace and tranquility. While our sins, our iniquities are forgiven through the tender mercies of our Lord, O my fathers and my brethren, Amen. On this day of the year 1684 of the martyrs, which coincided with the 2nd of April 1968 AD, during the papacy of Pope Hierolos VI, the 116th Patriarch of Alexandria, the Theotokos, the pure virgin Saint Mary, started to transfigure in luminous spiritual forms in and around the domes of her church in Zaytun, a suburb of Cairo. This transfiguration continued in some nights for many hours before tens of thousands of people from every race and religion. This apparition lasted for a period of about two years. The pure virgin had transfigured in different forms. At times she appeared in a full figure or in other times in a half figure in a cloud of heavenly white light. She was adorned with an angelic white dress holding in her hand an olive branch. Many spiritual signs accompanied these apparitions as the flying spiritual beings at night in the form of doves and the fragrance of incense which was seen and smelled by thousands. They came to the church every night from every place inside and outside the Egyptian land. They kept vigil all night, praising and singing hymns, waiting for her blessed apparition. These apparitions accompanied by many healing miracles to many of different religious religions and races. The greatest miracle that accompanied this apparition is planting the faith and establishing it in the hearts. The news of this apparition was covered by all the news media inside and outside the country. A great cathedral was built in the place of the garage across from the original church that was consecrated on the 2nd of April 1989 AD by the hand of Pope Shenouda III. The blessing of Our Lady and the pride of our race, the pure virgin Saint Mary, be with us all. Amen. On this day also of the year 668 of the martyrs, 952 AD, Pope Macarius I, 59th Patriarch of Alexandria, departed. This Holy Father was born in the city of Shobra, the godly Christian parents. His father departed while he was young and became an only child to his mother. He desired the monastic life and became a monk in the monastery of St. Macarius in the wilderness of Shihate. He lived a good virtuous life. After the departure of Pope Cosma III, the bishops, priests, and archons, lady leaders, lay leaders, unanimously agreed to choose this father for the Patriarchate. He was consecrated in the year 932 AD, and after his enthronement, enthronement he went to the monastery of St. Macarius, as was the custom of his predecessors. On this day, on his way back from the monastery, the people of his home town invited him to visit them. When he arrived to his hometown, he went to visit his mother, who was a righteous woman. When he had come to the house, he found her sitting down weaving, and she did not greet him or pay attention to him. He thought that she did not know him. So he said to her, Don't you know me? I am your son Macarius, who had received the patriarchal rank. She answered him with tears in her eyes, I know you, and I know what you had received of honor and dignity. I cry on your behalf because before you were responsible only on your, for your own soul, but now you are responsible about the souls of all your flock. Now, do not neglect the salvation of your soul and the souls of all your people. Be aware lest the glory of the presidency put a veil on your eyes. Now I have warned you and remember your mother who labored in raising you. She said that and went on weaving as she did before. These words went on resounding in his heart and in his ears and all the life an incentive for caring for his own salvation of his own salvation and to faithfully attend to his duties. He, pers he persevered in exhorting and guiding his people. He commanded the bishops and priests 
to shepherd their flock and to protect them. He was very careful in choosing the bishops and priests following the command of the Holy Bible. Do not lay hands on anyone chastely. 1 Timothy 5.22 When he finished his good endeavor, departed in peace after he had sat on the apostolic throne for 20 years. The blessing of his prayers be with us all, and glory be to God forever. Amen. Mm -hmm.